High Plains Technology Center, turning education and training into workplace success. Oh, back to school, back to school, to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. High Plains Technology Center, education at the speed of business. School is now in session. All right, here we are. Good Wednesday morning. I am back. Uh, thanks to Katie filling in for me last week. I was in Big D, don't mean divorce, uh, uh, meant in Dallas. Uh, but, you know, we've got a wonderful thing. Everybody's here, you know, recouping from the trip pan, uh, you know, the turkey coma, food coma, everything like that. But I have got a blessed of a guest that has known me for a very long time, and I've known her for a very long time. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Katrina McDowell. I'm the business and marketing instructor at High Plains. All right, here we go. So, Katrina, what was your favorite food that you had over Thanksgiving? We actually had a German Thanksgiving, so what? we what had is... Rammschnitzel, so that was my favorite. Did you prepare? Yes. Uh, really? Yes. Have you prepared that before? Yes. Okay. Is it, our... is it a lot of raw bologna type deal? What is it? No, it's pork. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, you know, when, when the schnitzel aspect, yes. so you just You could wonder. use veal or pork, but we use pork. Wow. So did, is this the first year you've done that? or mm, No, pretty well every Thanksgiving we do something different non-traditional because it's a heck of a lot better than a turkey yes i mean but i i will say i've i've been getting a fresh turkey never frozen from a person i was in leadership oklahoma with and it's kind of a game changer as well so it is a good thing i, I know how to make a turkey now at yeah, least well, that's so good. yeah <laughs> so i brought katrina on there's a lot going on here we are towards the end of the semester for everything but she has got she did one of the coolest things uh friday before thanksgiving and I'll let you explain a little bit of that with the BPA aspect and everything. Okay, so it was through BPA, which is Business Professionals of America. There you go. We always use these acronyms. Yes. Everybody's like, what, <laughs> what the heck are you talking about? And it was the Quality Chapter Tour. They chose 12 chapters um, to tour the state. So we had state officers, and then the BPA state director came, and they did a bunch of leadership activities for our students. We also had Visai and Sealing students come and to join us, and so we just had a really good time of leadership training and bonding. And didn't you was didn't you get wasn't there an award or something for you as well that that's involved with the not BPA but well this one was we were chosen as okay. one of this so we had to actually apply for it and our chapter was chosen that's awesome you know it's, it's cool to see because I know that FFA has done this forever with their state officers going to different chapters and visiting that. That's right. cool to see the BPA, which is, you know, people don't understand another career tech organization. Right. Uh, both of those are. And doing that because the kids, you know, d d with activities, because I was walking by, there's a lot of activities going on Friday. Yeah. That's about the only activities in the <laughs> yes. building going on Friday before Thanksgiving break. Yeah. But it was kind of cool just to see. So, I mean, because you guys were doing some icebreakers and some games in it there as well, right? Right. Yes. Yes. The Did you participate? Yes, I did participate, <laughs> especially in the trivia part. I can't say okay. I was the best. Right. But <laughs> well, cool. So how many, it looked like it was a little bit, it was pretty full in there, and you guys had cake. Yes, we had cake. Can't go wrong with I cake. I know. <laughs> Anytime anybody says, hey, cake, you're going to get a crowd. Right? Yeah, I guess we were the only school to do cake, so that okay. was... So did you? Oh, that was it. Was that a Katrina thing? Yes, that oh, was a me awesome. thing. Awesome, <laughs> which is not surprising. So you didn't have a German cake, though. No, one okay. German. <laughs> All right. So the cool thing that's also going on that you're getting, you're doing uh, before the break, also the Thanksgiving baskets. You know, I talked a little bit with uh, Audra and Amber before on one of the shows, but explain what you do and how you, how involved your students are because that's probably the neatest aspect, in my opinion. So we were able to do 14 baskets this year, and it's thanks to every department and class at High Plains. They Each class or department sponsored a Thanksgiving food basket, and we do a gift certificate for the turkey and then the all the food that you need to be able to cook Thanksgiving dinner. So. Not not a German Thanksgiving. No, dinner, not a though. German Thanksgiving. A traditional. Would that be a little <laughs> bit more? That it would be less food but more preparation, I would assume, Probably. right? I mean, because it was a lot of food. I do know that... Um, on our end, and of course, you know the the, the turkey as inflation goes and yes. the, everything as well. You know, and the cool thing is, is the students really don't know who's being nominated or anything or why, and it's just it's to some of these families that might be struggling and need a little bit of help, uh, and that's the coolest thing. And you know, I, I hope that 
your students understand the awesomeness of that. You right. know, that's the neatest thing. Yes. Um, the, the, they're giving back. And that's, the, to me, you know, everybody worries about this, worries about that. But giving back to your fellow man, and especially during these times and right now, is the coolest thing possible. Right. And that opinion. it helps our students at the school is they... It really hits home to them whenever they realize it's people that they go to school with that it's helped. So. And the thank yous is, is that's it makes it all worthwhile. Yes. As soon as you get that, you know, you're like, ah, and then you get that thank you and you're like, yeah, it does mean something. I know yes. it really <laughs> it, it, that, That's when you know that's the coolest thing. One of the uh, I'm on a board and one of the things that you're also doing, your class is doing this weekend also uh, Saturday is probably other than Special Olympics, one of my favorite events of the year. And so explain what's going on Saturday. Okay, so Saturday we have the OERC Christmas Dinner. It's been going on for 25 plus years. I'm not really sure how many. The only year we were not able to do it was COVID year. And we provide a full Thanksgiving dinner um, for the OERC clients and the workers that come with them. Santa Claus comes, we have gifts for every one of them, then we have a dance, and, you know, they get out there and do that chicken dance, they love that. For so. <laughs> sure, the, the, the dancing is probably one of the best parts, and my boy Brett, even one, di- one day, went, did a little bit of karaoke there as well, yes. uh, it, when it was, and you, you had to listen, but it was there, Yes, <laughs> but it was the coolest thing. It, it's, it's just neat, uh, you know, the giving back as well, that, you know, talking of that, it, and the appreciative, you know, everybody's so appreciative of everything that's going on there as well is well, the coolest you, thing. You see them around the community. And they're always asking, when is it? When is it going to be next year? They're all <laughs> excited and and ready to go. And, and so Katrina's not really talking about how much preparation is going into this. I know because you started looking for things when for this event. Yeah. I mean, we start basically at the beginning of the year. <laughs> um, thankful to... And when she says beginning of the year, yes. we're talking August, August people. yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then um, Anita and her crew that, that does all the cooking, well, there's no way we could do it without them because I don't think they would want to eat all of my my food that I would make. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that's the cool thing, too, that we have that kitchen that enables us to do that. And it, I didn't realize. So who else helps with the cooking? Um, Anita just always gets her clan. It's sometimes different people every year. Okay. Um, a lot of student services and um, people help cook. But it's just I just pretty well know I can tell Anita what date it is and she'll take care of. We give all the food to her, but then the turkeys are already ready and the hams. But she gets everything else ready so because here's like a guy magic. like me that just shows up and you know high fives and <laughs> right. does some dances and h- yeah. hugs and you know gets to see all my friends with yes. everything uh so what is one of the number one gifts that you give in this because i kind of know and this is you know th- we're always looking for a donation folks and that's right. why well, i'm kind of throwing this out there a little bit so we mainly do personal care products that they would need we usually do shampoo conditioner we do gloves this year we will thankful to you we were able to do work gloves for them um we have lip balm in there um hats i I know hats yes we do stocking caps just things that they would need for the winter months or whatever coming up then we also always do personally signed cards every one of my students signs every card just because we want them to be personal to them. so Because some of these people, that those that don't know, might not have anything without the OARC and without us to be able to celebrate. And that's why right. this is very important as well. Because yes. some of their families don't even live in Woodward, Oklahoma right. either. Uh, you know, they come from all over, you know, the United States to even live here uh, with this thing. And that's why it's very important, yes. folks. Um, and so if you're one of these companies, I'm going to put a plug in because I, it's just how I roll because you're going to feel you you'll feel very grateful at the end of this as well but if you have any logo overruns of t-shirts yes. logo overruns of hats um you know I, I remember one time I took uh one of my boys Frankie and Jimmy to a wrestling match and I wrote WWE they sent a bunch of t-shirts that we get got to give out there as well the right. next year so right. and always work gloves because they all work you know, most of them are working in the community and they're always needing work gloves. So that would be a great donation. Yeah, no question. So it, it, it the, the Chris is, are you going to, other than the chicken dance, because <laughs> I've, I've been the DJ at uh, Mrs. Rogers pre-Special Olympics party before. 
what, what, where are you going? What's the number one other than the chicken dance? Um, what other song? They like a lot of line dancing. Yep. So pretty well any country line country. dancing. It, it, yes, that's it's... the way to, that's the jam. <laughs> yes. Jacob, Jacob, he, he's the, he's the uh, line dancing king yep. Miss... and he's nine foot tall. So it's easy to see him out there. <laughs> Mrs. Riley's usually in charge of the, of the music. So she gets all the good songs and. They and the really YMCA yeah, oh, definitely. always, you know, because I'm telling you what, it, it's it's the coolest thing because of the participation also and, and how happy everybody is that day. And that's what I love is being happy, yes. you know, and, and enjoying yourselves. And even Katrina's going to dance, right? Well, I'm usually pretty busy <laughs> trying no, to get everything we're going. Gonna, we're going to so. push you out there this year. Got to do but, a dance at least once. Yes, but the health class helps us with the desserts. And then the LPN class this year is going to come help during the dancing part, just get in some skills for maybe the ones who are in walkers and stuff like that. And so oh, they're going to yeah, yeah. so they're going to help us out a lot this year, also. Awesome, and you know, so like I said, if anybody has anything that they ever want to donate, con- contact Katrina uh, five seven one six one seven zero six one seven zero. She's got students that'll be more than happy to help out and come and even get it possibly as well. Uh, or even some of the staff, I, I'll be happy and I'll th- say thank you and give you a good pat on the back of hug if you so much <laughs> want. But uh, anything else we got going, Katrina, with anything out there? Um, well, this month is DECA month. So we've been celebrating DECA month all month and it's just mainly getting the word out there. We've been making a post pretty well every day. I haven't been as consistent this month, but um, we're doing as good as we can. We've been to fall leadership and we're getting ready to have um, our state leadership contest coming out for DECA and BPA. And then I also have one running for state officer. So. Once again, one running for state officer. That's what I love. All that you guys do with the programs is always push someone towards that for leadership that you see in them. And it's always people you never know, you know, and then they just shine. Yeah, they blossom. So. It, it really is. It's it's a cool thing, matriculation to see and, and, the, and the, what happens with that. And you know, I, I so the fall leadership and the and the leadership stuff that they actually get for these conferences. You have speakers that always go to those, right? And yes. Try yes. to pump them up. Right. Have okay. Good speakers, and then the state officers always do a great job of getting people involved and excited. So. And have you have you had a state officer before? Yes, I had a collegiate DECA state officer. That's what, and I thought. That's what my person that's running this year is running for collegiate DECA also. Okay. So. And so explain that because I know some people are going collegiate state officer. Yeah. <laughs> so, so explain collegiate that. Collegiate is any um, officer that is an adult that is not still in high school. The one who's running this year, he's currently a high school senior, but he would be running next year as an adult student. Okay. Because that's what people need to, because I know that they get a little get, bit confused confused right. with things but that's just the way your organization <laughs> describes it correct yes because yeah. they run i mean they compete against people who are going to colleges and you and had some in nationals as yes. well uh, last year yes. that actually went and competed yeah, in BPA, that yes. in bpa yes. also at the collegiate level is that what they do they call it they're post-secondary, post-secondary level post-secondary. is what bpa okay. is so see we like to switch things up <laughs> in career tech we call it collegiate and post-secondary yes yeah so all right well i just want to say thanks for coming on katrina and you know more than anything this saturday go out and and i'll I'll, uh, hopefully try to see i don't know if i'm gonna be in darlington go pokes (laughs) sooner tears are the best so uh hopefully i'll be there and get to see you and everything but uh what a great event and i know there will be pictures a plenty and check out all the smiling faces yes all the santa pictures and we make sure each one of the clients get a santa picture so because that is a big deal yes that is a very big deal. So, all right, everybody, we will you, we'll see you next week. You're going to be stuck with me again. So, all right, everybody stay warm.